Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we kick off a mini series looking into each of the monsters found in Dark Deception Chapter 4. These episodes will conduct a full breakdown of each of these monsters' abilities, their lore within the game world, secrets found within their stages, as well as their boss encounters and tips for how to best conquer them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this look at the Reaper Nurses Explained. The Reaper Nurses are not conventional nurses. Dressed in revealing clothing which doesn't exactly seem standard issue for a hospital worker, they also wear a pair of bright red roller skates which carry them about the shining halls of a hospital at lightning speed. On their head they wear a medical bag, leaving their true appearance a mystery. Each nurse carries around a humongous syringe, which they use to impale their victims should they catch up to them. These nurses can also turn invisible and appear out of thin air, making our telepathy ability a must-have at all times. They are also faster than the player, meaning we must use our speed boost and teleport in tandem, as well as our stun ability to keep them off our backs. The final attack the nurses possess is their ability to throw out pills which stun the player should they make contact, so be sure to dodge to avoid taking this lethal medication. Despite their ferocious true nature, these nurses at first seem welcoming, offering healing and mercy to the men who enter their torment therapy hospital. Greetings and welcome to this place of healing and mercy. You don't need to suffer anymore. We can heal your soul. We can offer the beauty that you desire. The Reapers use their flirtatious charm to calm these men they hate oh so much, leading them into trap rooms like lambs to the slaughter. I just need to take a small blood sample. You're not afraid of needles, are you? Okay, great. Stay right there and don't move. Wait until the timer reaches zero. I'll be right outside the door. Huh. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think you want to still be in this room when that timer reaches zero. Find a way out of here! Didn't I say not to move? However, if their merciful offerings are continuously rejected, they take more drastic measures and enter frenzy mode their entire body turning red as they go in for the kill. The hospital embodies this theme of deception too. On first entry, the entire establishment feels like some kind of seedy gentleman's club, with the nurses dancing and seducing visitors. However, once inside, there are electroshock traps and buzzsaw blades to dodge at every turn. The building is rigged top to bottom and acts as one giant kill zone. Through the discovery of one of the mysterious E-Notes, we learn more about the true nature of these Reaper nurses. They, like the other monsters found within Dark Deception, are demons bound to serve their overlord Malak. E writes of how the Reapers are the embodiment of women who were abused and degraded by men, now left scarred and filled with hatred toward them, born from that very hatred itself. The very hospital itself lures the souls of men with a disrespect towards women, offering them an eternity of torment at the hands of the ladies they so badly mistreated. This is exactly why protagonist Doug Hauser visits the hospital itself. We know from a newspaper article in Chapter 3, and his mistreatment of his own wife, that Doug was abusive towards women at every opportunity a real scumbag who these Reapers are now only too happy to subject to their very own brand of torture therapy. Don't worry, the process is fully automated to guarantee the most effective treatment. See? Now you just scream for me if you need anything, okay? Toodles, bye 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 In case you didn't notice, they're trying to kill you again. Strangely, E mentions that these nurses are not like the other demons found in Malak's Nightmare Realms. It seems if you're a woman, then you have nothing to really worry about, as these nurses were quite friendly and welcoming toward E. Even when E refused their offer to join the Reaper fraternity, the nurses simply laughed and continued to allow her to explore their hospital, so only men need fear these femme fatales. 
Next up, we have the Matron Nurse, a giant monstrosity who oversees punishment and the conduct of a Reaper nurses within the hospital, commanding them to carry out her bidding. Reapers, stop He's it! Over there. She dresses differently. Matron's face is still concealed inside a bag, but she does not have the slim, athletic build of her minions. Instead, she is quite obese and bursts out of her uniform. Her feet have been surgically removed and in their place a pair of wheels attached, allowing her to move at super speed. The most terrifying aspect of this nurse though is surely her size. Standing at around 30 feet tall, she towers over everything, even ambulances. During the matron boss encounter, we see her wielding two large bone saws, able to cut through metal like butter. The matron charges Doug as he rides atop a convoy of ambulances. If we are not quick to teleport ahead, the matron will catch up and grind us into dust. Things are made trickier still by her frenzied reapers, who leap up to tackle Doug as he frantically tries to maintain safe distance. Thankfully, these mini nurses can be used to our advantage. Simply stun them with a primal fear ability and then use their giant needles to knock them off each vehicle. This trips up the matron and if we repeat this process four times, she finally takes a faceplant and bites the dust. The best way to defeat the matron is to always keep at least two ambulances ahead of her. This way she will only reach you when using her rare double attack shown on screen now. If you can manage to keep three ambulances away, then you are completely safe outside of the advancing reapers. Now another good tip is to always wait until the matron begins an attack before you teleport. This ensures she will never be attacking the lane of traffic you end up in. After knocking back a Reaper nurse toward the matron, be sure it connects with her before teleporting to safety. It takes time for the nurse's body to reach the matron you see, and so moving too early will cause her to move with you before the hit connects. Finally, try to take time to recharge your stun ability with any jump made to a Reaper nurse infested vehicle. This ensures you will always be able to stun and recharge your teleport before getting impaled on their syringe. It's very easy to die on the matron boss, so don't sweat if you are having trouble, but if you repeat these steps, victory should be yours. To conclude, I would like to show you a quick guide to locating all secrets filed away within the archives of this healing hospital. There are four in total, as well as the e-note to discover as a bonus, although the latter is not required to S-rank the stage. The first two secrets are located in Zone 1 of Torment Therapy, both hidden inside interactable elevators. There are many elevators found across the map, but only two hold those elusive BS files. The first is located at the far side of the map on the outer edge, as shown here on our mini-map simply click the elevator button to access it. The second is more central. Use the mini-map on screen now to locate it for yourself. Again, simply open the elevator to find the file floating inside. Next, we move to Zone 2. This collectible is found on the upper floor of the prison area, directly above the spawn room at the start of the zone. It can be seen clearly on the tablet map and requires us to break through several boards to gain entry. Inside this room we find not only a BS file, but also some very interesting and grim story information tied to the central protagonist Doug Hauser, explaining how he hated his wife and her erratic behaviour. They had a very toxic relationship, so one day Doug decided to switch up her prescribed medication this eventually resulting in his wife's death. We'll explore this lore as well as Doug's own ties to the Reaper nurses in the upcoming Story Explained video, so for now let's move on to the final collectibles. The last secret file is found in clear view as we retrace our steps through the matron nurse waiting room on our way to the ring altar. 
Finally, while not required to S rank the stage, if you would like to locate the E note for yourselves, be sure not to trigger the Reaper Nurse escape cutscene as shown on screen here. Rather, look to the left just before the sequence begins and you'll find a door with a green light above it. Inside this room, the E note is waiting for you. It fully explains these Reaper nurses and their place in the Dark Deception universe. With the secrets now under our belt and the stage and nurses explained, it's time to bid farewell to this episode of Dark Deception Monsters Explained and leave the Torment Hospital behind. In the next episode, we'll take a detailed look at the Joy Joy Gang, a bunch of fearsome animatronics who roam the abandoned theme park Joy Joy Land. But for now, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it both entertaining and informative. If you did, remember to leave me a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more horror related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.